Wondergraph is an open source framework to simplify app development without vendor locking. The WAP is built on top of open standards like HTTP and REST for communication, OpenID Connect and OAuth2 for authentication and authorization, S3 to manage files, OpenAPI, GraphQL, gRPC, and many more to describe data-driven APIs. But there's really no standard to combine all of them. Instead, what we do most of the time is we build custom integrations around these standards, custom glue code, frameworks, middleware, manual integrations, and worst of all, custom build solutions, for example, for authentications. You have to write this code, maintain it, test it, and that's really costly. Enter the Wundergraph platform. So we standardize how you can combine all of them together. We've developed something which we call the API Mesh. API Mesh is a GraphQL representation of all your services. So you can bring your own Stripe, Salesforce, and SendGrid account, your internal services like GraphQL and REST, or even your databases, and combine them all together into one unified API. You can then add your S3 file storage, like AWS S3 or Menu. You add your authentication provider, which could be Auth0 or Keycloak or anything else. And that gives you your Wondergraph API. So what's the last missing bit here is you now define your operations. And these operations will then interact with your API mesh. So that could be log in a user, authenticate, or create a message, write a comment, like something, etc. And once you have defined these operations, we generate a secure API for you plus a 100% type safe client. And this client could be anything. iOS, Android, could be Next.js client, or even a backend service like Go or Java. And this client, it's not just 100% type safe, but it also knows exactly how the API is exposed from Wondergraph. And that means it's very secure and efficient. So how does the development workflow look like using Wondergraph? Step one, you define your data sources, file storage, and identity provider. Step two, define the operations. And step three, use the generated TypeSafe client, add your custom business logic, and the integration is essentially done. So what are the benefits? The framework is open source, and you can add any data source or any template for generating different clients you want. It helps you escaping the vendor lock-in because anytime you're unhappy with one of the providers or APIs you're using, you can swap them. And the generated client gives you 100% type safety for all your APIs, and that makes you super productive. On the roadmap, we want to support more client templates in the future. We currently have TypeScript, React, and Next.js. And on the data source side of things, we currently support OpenAPI, GraphQL, Apollo Federation, Postgres, and MySQL, and want to add more in the future. Let's have a quick look at the demo. So here's our configuration. Uh, all the configuration in Wundergraph happens using TypeScript. So you can say introspect GraphQL and do that again for the SpaceX and the weather API. This then automatically generates the API mesh for you. You can now write an operation like past launches.graphql, query all the data you need. And that generates not just an API for you, it doesn't just add an authentication middleware, input validation, all that stuff, but it also generates a type safe client. So all you have to do is use query, past launches, and it abstracts away all the complexity of bringing together the API, securing it, etc. So that was the quick demo. Next steps, you could try it out yourself. Go to wondergraph.com slash quick start. We could start a discussion on Discord, wondergraph.com slash Discord. And if you need support or a managed service, go to wondergraph.com slash pricing. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.